Hi everyone. World Heart Day is a good day to remind ourselves of that one muscle that works non-stop in our body. The heart is beating 24/7 and it's something that you need to care about. What if we told you that the way to really care about your heart is right here in your hands? Acupuncture is something that has been studied for centuries and it has tens of thousands of published research papers that prove that it works for a variety of conditions including for heart health but not all of us can have access to acupuncturists and needling ourselves without the proper training is downright foolish so what can we do acupressure works on the same principles of acupuncture without any of the risks and yet it's been shown to stimulate the same energy meridians the same nerve pathways that can help to achieve fantastic heart health so i've used it myself all sorts of acupressure modalities chinese south indian even reflexology and so today i'm going to bring you three special points one from each of these modalities to help you keep your heart in fantastic health here's how you're going to locate it and here's how you need to activate it point number 1 this point comes to us from reflexology and the way to locate it is as follows go from the base of the ring finger and the small finger at the point where they join at the center trace it down to the point where everybody has this line on their palm and you can feel the edge the bottom of this bone of the little finger just press inside with your thumb and once you begin to rotate it that's the exact point where reflexology says you need to press it's literally pumping it or you know pressing it with circular motion is like giving your heart a much needed massage so that's something that you can do for about 30 seconds to a minute do it two or three times a day and you can enjoy fantastic heart health point number 2 this point comes to us from chinese acupuncture this is located again um, on the on the hand but we're going under the palm for this one <clears throat> come to the bone at the base of the wrist right here as you come here you can feel the roundness of the bone just trace the bottom roundness of the bone towards the middle of the palm and right here at this point where you can feel the crease of the wrist just under and uh, you know under this bone and just above this tendon is a small hole that you can sense this point is called h7 or heart 7 it's on the heart meridian and it's called shen men or evocatively called spirit gate so if you press this point for about 30 seconds again either up or down or in a small circular motion twice or thrice a day you'll be literally feeding your heart and your spirit allowing it to relax the third point comes from something that i received training in nearly a decade and a half ago it's called varmam and it's an ancient south indian art of acupressure so all credit and gratitude to this goes to varmam master dr shanmugam of the arts research institute in coimbatore the way to locate this point is quite simple make your um, hand in this shape place the tip of your thumb just under the throat pit and when you keep your uh, thumb in that fashion just under the throat pit the rest of the hand automatically falls onto this chest area make sure that you're going towards the area that joins the shoulder and the arm and right there using the pads of your fingers just gently press in and out three times 1 2 3 you can even do another three for good measure so that's 5 and 6 This is something that I do every morning myself. Now for those of you who may have a little bit of interest in the occult or in astrology, the rishis who have said to have been uh, codifiers of this whole principle of varmam or ancient South Indian acupressure, they have written in the texts that different planets in the solar system and different stars send different energies celestial energy to different organs of our body on specific days of the month this particular point that we are activating it is said to receive energy from the star or the nakshatram that's called revati on a particular day of the month as per the hindu almanac so when you actually press it gently you're stimulating the receiver in your body to attract that energy and to receive it properly now 
Some of us will think this is all mumbo jumbo and to you I say here's some food for thought. If anyone you know has a problem with the rhythm of their heart and they need a pacemaker, this is the exact spot where the surgeon will place the pacemaker. Isn't that a little bit of uh, something that's more than a coincidence? I would think so. So here's what I think. I think the Rishis maybe had a way of knowing that there was a deep connection between this area and the proper functioning of the heart. Whichever theory you choose to believe, all you have to do is to place your thumb here and gently press your heart and tell yourself all is well. And that's it. So go ahead and use these acupressure points and enjoy fantastic heart health. Here's wishing you vibrant health and well-being.